Hi, I'm Creed and I work in the technical support department here at NewCamp. And today I wanted to go over the Aldi control screen and get a little bit in depth with some of the settings and functions of it. So let's get started. Alrighty, so we're at the standby screen right here. This is just telling me that it's 67 inside the coach. That is just the internal probe sensor. This is a circulation pump and that means that it's on shore power. So on the main menu, up top we have our temperature setting or the desired temperature you'd like to reach. It is not reading the outside temperature and you can see that here with the internal probe sensor symbol. Below that is your hot water setting. So halfway we can see is this right here. That just means normal operation, uh, hot water and heat. So before you shower, I recommend going to boost mode. Boost mode will give you extra hot water for a half an hour and it then goes back to the normal setting after 30 minutes. So this is your shore power setting. Um, if you're wanting to run off of shore power, you're gonna have, it's, it's probably gonna start off on off, so you wanna hit the plus button. You have one KW and two KW. Why would you have two different settings? So if you're running off a regular 15 amp outlet at home, you'll wanna turn this to one KW. That's essentially half power. Uh, so it only turns on one of the heating elements. That's because on two KW, it draws 15.6 amps, which is a little over 15 amps and could um, be too much power for your regular outlet at home. When you're at the campsite or if you have a 20 amp, then you can put it on 2KW. So if you're wanting to run off propane, I would want the electric turned off and the propane turned on, vice versa. If you wanna run off electric, I want the propane off and the electric on which we're plugged into a 15 amp right now, so I'm gonna keep it on one KW. So now we're gonna go into the settings. So here on uh, page 104, you have night mode and day mode. So this pretty much is a way where you can set the heat to turn on between two different times. Uh, so just keep in mind, if you have it set at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., outside of that time, the heat is not gonna kick on. So that's one of the things I have folks check when their heat uh, doesn't seem to be producing anything. Um, one of the ways you could use this if, is if you're gone, let's say you're on a hike or you're skiing and you wanna make sure your heat turns on before you get back, uh, that would be a, a great way to use it. Uh, otherwise, um, maybe just make sure that uh, these are set off if you're not trying to uh, keep a certain schedule. The prioritize setting, that allows you to choose which one the Aldi would default to. So if you happen to have both propane and electric selected, this setting right here, electric, that would make the Aldi default to running on shore power versus propane. So if you have both available and you have both turned on, but you would rather have propane, then you would keep it on propane. I usually recommend uh, electric just to save on propane. So next is time and day. And then you can choose whether or not you show it. On page two of four, here we have Celsius versus Fahrenheit. These are all dark, so those are functions that are not equipped on this specific unit. Page three of four, this icon right here this is the automatic temperature increase. So the boiler can start at 2 a.m. if the clock is set and uh, run uh, for extra hot water, essentially. This was put in by Aldi to help reduce the risk of Legionella, uh, which is a form of bacteria. So it helps prevent that from starting inside your hot water tank. Next is the temperature offset. We don't have an exterior probe sensor, so it's only interior. So this is if you have your temperature set, but you notice that the Aldi itself is maybe reading a little bit off versus like a handheld thermometer. So let's say the Aldi was reading five degrees higher than it should be. So I would go minus five. 
and this will go to 10. That's as far as you can offset it. So vice versa, if the Aldi is reading five degrees too cold uh, compared to your handheld thermometer, you would go up five. So this is something great to do at the beginning. Uh, bring in a handheld thermometer and just make sure it's matching the Aldi just for better accuracy. This is just sound, whether you want uh, a sound to be made whenever you hit something. Right here is delayed start. So delayed start is just a way to basically get the heating system to automatically turn on at a later point in time. So right here we have 12 a.m., Tuesday, 10 a.m. Essentially, you could think of it almost similar to day mode, but this setting right here, it's not dependent on day or night. This will automatically turn on and run that one cycle in that 24 hour period, and then it will stop. And it'll do that once a week. So you can see here that you have Monday, 12 a.m. to Tuesday, 10 a.m. So the Aldi would run from 12 a.m. Monday until Tuesday on 10 a.m. Then it would turn off, and then the week after that, it would do the same thing. Next is your pump setting. Um, always have it on therm. The only reason you would have it on continuous is for servicing purposes. A technician will turn that on if he has to, but always have it on therm. So here, page four or four, this is a reset. Um, this is if you want everything to go back to factory settings. Here is external switch. Uh, this is something that you don't have to mess with. We don't use an external switch language. So next we have a very important function. It's the service. So in here you have glycol temp, water temp, fan rotation. Fan rotation is gonna show zero RPM on electric mode. That's just for the combustion fan when running off of propane. The rest you're really not gonna use too much. Uh, this is more for a technician. But if you ever call in and you know something isn't working with the system, more than likely I'm gonna be asking for the glycol temp and the water temp. Another reason why you'd wanna know this is if you turned your system on and if you wanna know hey, the water's you know up to temp, that way I can take a shower, you can get it right here. Typically, if you're using a 15 amp outlet uh, with a little less power, the water temp will be anywhere from 120 to 130. If you're on propane or uh, a 30 amp service, I've seen the water between 150, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less but that would be a great way for you to know if the system is up to temperature or not. So next is the installed accessories page. Uh, this is a tab 320, so it has a little bit less, but for the most part, you don't wanna go through check marking all of these things. These are like a third party panel. We don't use a load monitor. We don't use really the only situation where something's gonna be check marked in here is on a 400 when you have a Aldi flow or the Cirruses. The Cirruses also, some of them have the booster fan function. That would be something to check mark. If you have any questions regarding installed accessories, instead of just, you know, selecting different accessories, give us a call and we'll help you through that and let you know which ones should be check marked and which ones should not be. But that is it for the settings of the Aldi. So we went through the main menu real quick. I have this set to 72, that's my desired temperature. My water is halfway, that would be normal use. I have it on 1KW because we're on a 15 amp outlet and I have propane turned off. So one last thing, the A right here, that is for activated functions. That is for the external switch in this case, which again, you would not have to worry about on your unit, so you can just ignore uh, the A right here. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, you can contact us at tech at newcamprv.com. Thank you, and have a great day.